Hi everyone, my name is Justin and I'm here to show you the essential brushes for the slow motion pack in, in Painter and Particle Shop. These brushes really have the intention of adding flow to your work while also breaking up and staggering the parts of the image where we want to show a break in time, if that makes sense. And a, a lot of these brushes, let's take a look here, are simply compositional. Um, I'm going to go down these brushes and kind of show you what they look like so that you know what you're getting in Painter. It, because of course we can see the dab and the um, the stroke previews in on the Painter website, but of course it's also good to see how they flow and how they work. So let's take a look at Acid right here. And this one is one of my favorites because again it shows that stagger in time. And we can take that to a little area down here that's pretty clear and kind of break that up and it is kind of random you're kind of going back and forth between you know control Z and and did that work very well but most of the time if if you just use a delicate stroke and go through something let's back up here it kind of shows again that little stagger that shows something's going on in time let's go ahead and go through some of these other brushes such as burst this one you can see would be very useful towards really anything that you want to show kind of a burst of woe in there. In fact, we can even leave that just so you, you know we can see how it works with other things. And we have impact. And this one is just a very slow brush. So let's say I want to you know show something hitting his hand, maybe a basketball and it's it's slow it's in slow motion. We want to show that impact of of the ball. We can we can hit this and kind of show that something is impacting between him and between his hand and the ball or maybe even showing that his head is impacting with the air around him you know he's bursting through um, this is a really great brush for that motion of course is our our classic this is really just a paint stroke that's just right so i can you know let's actually get rid of this brush stroke here because this is kind of a good place to use that and it shows that that motion without really having to have any special effects or anything. It's just a simple stroke. I can even I can even color pick off of this shoe, for example, and just show the motion coming off of that. Another thing you can do is you can add a layer in in Particle Shop. I recommend starting as a new layer or in Painter, uh, just adding one here. And we're gonna we're gonna make our stroke, and I'm gonna I just turned it to an eraser. And let's turn on a low opacity up here. I've made it a 10% just now. And you can kind of blend it in with the scene. And you can really do that with any brush, of course, uh, for Particle Shop, um, any pack. Uh, it's something I use. It's very useful um, that kind of blends it and makes it, you know, a little more organic. Let's take a look at Pastel here. So this one is another stagger effect. But it's got a much more... We can take it. It's got a much more gritty, pastel-y effect. So subtle differences like that that show up between the brushes that really do make a difference. Because let's say you go to use one that you know you want that's more like this, but then it comes out like the last stagger effect that we use. You know, um, it'll help you, but then you now you've got to manipulate it to be a certain way. So this is very useful if you're trying to get some of that stagger, but in more of a, a textured kind of way like I just did for these chairs over here. Now, this one here, the pie brush, um, was very interesting to make because I wanted something that kind of showed the, uh, almost like a, like a smoke, but the only way I could really describe that smoke when I was trying to create it was like the little smoke that comes off of like a traditional apple pie. And so that's why this one is called pie. We can take it and add it to anything and just kind of add that, almost like a whimsical, slow motion effect. Let's use scatter here. I'm going to go ahead and back out of some of these brush strokes. Maybe even delete that. And scatter is going to take those pixels, kind of like burst, but really just scatter them. So if, it, if something again hit his hand, instead of that other, that other kind of, I think it was impact, we're going to go ahead and just scatter it like that and that's a much more different that's maybe if maybe the ball hit him or maybe we want to do it down here where his foot hit the ground 
or maybe something else, maybe a raindrop even. Um, maybe hit something hit the back of his leg or you want to apply this right here. Uh, there's so many different uses for these brushes. Uh, this one I'm definitely going to use in even some of my illustrations, I think. The soft brush, so this one is used throughout this image right here. And it's really to take some of these areas, we're going to color pick, and just add a wind. Just a very soft, it's not foreground, it's not background. We can add a wind to really any part of this. Or you can you can color pick. And just add some very organic wind. As you can see, it's kind of got an opacity jitter. Um, this helps a lot with making it look natural. Um, but of course, for the most part, being pretty subtle, just using a light stroke, just like that. It's very useful uh, if you're trying to express a direction, but you don't really want something to be so. Um, uh, what would you? What kind of word would you use for that? Something so impacting. It's kind of just very soft. So let's go to stagger here, and of course we use the word stagger a lot, but this one. It's kind of just exactly the traditional sense of what we mean. And we're going to take this and we're just going to stagger it through here. It's almost like the pastel, but just takes those 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 pixels again and just staggers them in place. As you can see, it's not even dragging it over too much. It's just simply stag staggering the ones that you might want to. Let's go into the last one here. Wisp. And this one is a lot like, I believe it was our motion brush, but this one is a little more wispy, of course, hence the name. So I'm going to grab this right here. I'm just going to go like that. And I recommend this one, since it's pretty hard, to maybe go off of a layer like this. Oh, that's a cool one. And then what you can do is you can back out or lower the opacity of the layer if you want that whole thing in there, or both. You can lower the opacity of the layer. Let's say I want to blend this end right over here. I'm just going to go ahead and back it out right there. And there you are. Those are the brushes for the slow motion pack for Painter and Particle Shop. I highly recommend them if you want to add some composition to your work. If you take some really cool sports photos or um, uh, you know anything else that might apply to slow-mo. Um, thank you so much for watching.